Hey guys, I just thought I'd do uh, my first actual speaking video here. Just wanted to show you a couple things I've been working on to see if anybody's interested in what I'm doing. Um, I've got the cell running at about one amp right now. I have it tuned um, in a very different way. I'm going to show you the frequency right now. I think you guys will recognize the frequency. That's the frequency right now. I don't actually know how high it is, but um, that's the signal. Uh, I'm probably going to lose it when I start messing around with the electronics that I've built. I've built this prototype right here, and it seems to be working really well for adjusting the uh, duty cycle and the frequency. Um, it basically has the option on it to just switch out um, capacitors as needed to see to adjust for how high or how low you want the frequency to go. Uh, right now it's set pretty high. I think I just need one more cap lower just to get right on the button. I think I just need to go up just a tiny bit higher. But that said, there's some pretty cool anomalies with this. Um, it does come with two potentiometers, one to adjust the um, frequency and one to adjust the um, duty cycle and they are relatively separate from one another. Um, I currently have it hooked up back here to a transistor and that goes up to about uh, 40 amps. And as well, because I've been messing around with it, I've got it hooked up to a couple of bifiler rods sitting here and I've got some really interesting results. So I'm just going to show you that. It's a bit of a mess. I'm down here just kind of chilling in my basement. It's supposed to be finishing it but uh, I'm goofing off uh, playing with electronics so anyways this is what I've got let me show you I'm probably gonna lose this signal I'm not gonna be able to get it back because it takes a while to get it back um, but I want to show you the results so over here I've got a bifolar bifiler rod and I've got a coil around it now when I adjust the frequency and I hit the sweet spot this meter right here is actually hooked up to that rod and it'll show you the current that's going through there uh, or more importantly the voltage. Um, I also have a small uh, LED hooked up there to show you when it's resonating. So I'm just going to start doing that right now. I'm going to start just playing around with the frequency and I'm probably going to uh, lose that frequency right there. So I'm just going to slowly turn it. Hold on, let me grab it here. My hand's grabbing it right there. And I'm going to slowly just adjust it. You can see I lost it. Now watch as I turn it. Watch the coil over there. You'll probably see the light come on. It flashed for a second there. But there's a couple sweet spots. And once you get it, oh, there we go light right up and that's when you know the circuit is in resonance not necessarily for the cell although the cell is still doing quite fine um, it's more in resonance for the outer coil there to pick up the additional energy and as you can see on the amp meter down here that's actually hooked up to the cell there's pretty much nothing going through there and the LED, oops, here, I'll just tune it again, is, where is it here, the LED is lighting up, oh, there it is, and I've got the voltmeter hooked up to that, and it's showing one volt, um, I can tune it to get, to actually get it to go right off the charts, so that's what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to quickly just um, take the LED off, I'm just going to show you one more time how you can use this circuit to, to tune it so that you get it on or get it off. You find the sweet spot with either just an LED um, or um, with a scope if you have one. Uh, but right now I'm just going to try and just take that light off. I just have it sitting there so gently. Now that I have the light off, I just have the two multimeter connections on there and they are hooked up to this multimeter. So now I'm going to tune it and see what kind of results I can get from that multimeter. It's pretty
pretty tricky to get it. Oh, there we go. But once I get it, you can see the voltage starts going right through the roof. I actually had it peg right out. That's going to try and see if I can get it to just overload. I almost got it. Pretty close. Let me just try and tune it a little bit more. It's a real sweet spot. Now once you get it, it's incredible the amount of voltage that this thing cranks out. So again, I'm just trying to tune it ever so slightly. Anyways, we're up at about 900. And 66 by the looks of it somewhere around there. I can definitely get it to peg the meter and go over and uh, overload it for sure But I just wanted to show you guys that it's a little messy, but uh, that's kind of how I roll and uh, There's the circuit uh, It's not the best view in the world of it again. It's a prototype, but it works quite well If anybody's interested in buying one, please let me know. I'll put the price in the description I'd love to make one for you guys. I know we're all trying to kind of get to the same goal or if you just kind of want to use it for messing around with other experiments that you have it's fantastic for sweeping through uh, the higher frequency range without uh, um, affecting uh, the duty, duty cycle at all so that's pretty much it thanks for watching please subscribe make sure you hit the like button and uh, please let me know what your thoughts are now just have it one more look at the see if I can get this thing to zone in oh pretty close Yeah, it takes two hands for me to get it to zone right in, but we're pretty close there. Anyways, that's it for now. Take care.